Hello, folks. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going, folks? Hey, y'all, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're horrifically off schedule this week. I do apologize. Uh, there was no stream yesterday. We're streaming tonight. There's no stream tomorrow. It's 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 all over the place. Um, so just if you can only tune in for the start, uh, just to give a big heads up. I'm streaming tonight and Sunday. Bit of an odd week. Uh, it's unprofessional. <laughs> how, how dare you? Uh, no, it's just a, a, there's a lot on next week, basically. So I'm taking a bit of downtime this week. Uh, just with that in mind. Hope that's understandable. But we're doing a stream tonight. And then I'll be back on Sunday. Uh, we were going to do some Minecraft tonight, but we're actually going to just try and do that over the weekend. Uh, instead, because I think it's just a bit easier. Oh, that's okay. Uh, so I thought, in the sp because every single part of Wallace and Gromit has been, like, for whatever reason, it's like a sneaky off-schedule stream, or it's like we sneak it in with some other game, I thought we'd just continue the trend at this point, and we're going to play Wallace and Gromit just more today. <laughs> It always seems to come uh, be streamed like a weird time for this game. So there you go. At this point, we might as well go all in. No, that's not a dick in his right hand. I really wish people would stop saying that. That is an ice cream. Get your minds out of the gutter, please. You gotta stop saying it. <laughs> Banana, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, Morco, thank you for a thousand bits as well. 
ART, I'm a member of the Grand Adventures speedrunning community, and I want to thank you for playing this game and giving it more attention. We've recently discovered some massive time saves which have brought the world record down by over a minute, and hearing you have been playing this game is epic. Thank you, my brother. Episode 3 has the sexiest character in this- Okay, that's gotta be a troll. That's gotta be a troll. I can't tell if you're genuine or not. I can't tell. You. I don't know if I can trust you now. Like, that last line has thrown me off. <laughs> it's the ice cream. No. Hooray for YouTube uh, not being a YouTube lately. Yeah, um, oh god, I gotta mention it. This happened late last night. Um, big news. We, we got YouTube to reverse some of their policy. Uh, because of all the issues I've actually been having on the platform. They have a way friendlier policy on swears now. Uh, to the extent I can confirm this my end, that a number of my videos have actually been reinstated uh, following the policy change. Uh, this only happened because we kicked up such a fuss. Uh, this only happened because of all the support there's been for me and my content online. So, like, like seriously, like, thank you to everyone for making that possible. They, they've actually backtracked on quite a bit of the policy change. Uh, there's still some other stuff that, like, I want to go into following on from it. Um... Because, yeah, I mean, there's been, there's been a lot happening, like, like, since the initial notice for this at the start of the year. Uh, and what, so what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna put together, like, a video, uh, at some point in the next week. And we're just gonna talk about, and, like, even the update on policy, because I think it's important to cover. Uh, because we, we actually have achieved something that I would like to think is quite good. Um, I, uh, like, not even just for myself, just for creators in general on the platform. And, and, like, the ambition with this is, like, hey, let's get better conditions for creators in general working it online, because that's always a good thing, you know? Uh, so, like, thank you to everyone who made that possible. Like, seriously, it, it, it's a very big deal. Uh, I posted about it on my Twitter late last night, because I only saw the news then. And I'll try to talk about it some more in, like, a video update on the channel. But it, it's huge news. Like, uh, a lot of videos actually got reinstated. Like, of note... A lot of the Persona videos that have been flagged are now actually remonetized, uh, which means more people might actually be able to see them. Uh, a lot of my content, specifically from last year, got reinstated. So uh, it, it's a, it's a significant improvement. At the best of is still age restricted. We didn't we didn't get that one, but it's a little victory. <laughs> it's a little victory. So you know we'll take that. Jesus Christ, Avos, well, thank you for the 20 gift subs, like, Jesus Christ, thank you for the thousand bits as well, it's an unbelievably kind of you. My birthday was Monday, so here's some birthday bits, also I've noticed that starting with Vino Humano every time you stream Hitman, I'm eating soup, I don't get it, but cool, I guess. Uh, happy belated birthday to you, I hope you had a wonderful day. Hope you had a wonderful time. Uh, thank you very much as ever for the support, it's very kind of you. Frago as well, Jesus. Jeez, you guys gotta calm down. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, RT. How's it going? It's going good. We're gonna press on with another episode. I'm gonna- uh, of Wallace and Grout. I'm gonna get off this screen like lightning quick because more and more people are joining and it's like... I accidentally closed it. <laughs> Blind panic. Wait, no, I minimized it. More and more people are joining and they're just like, why is Wallace holding a dick? We gotta get off this screen. We gotta get off this screen. It's not. It's an ice cream. Get your minds out of the gutter. Telltale Games Production. It's ice cream! See? It's a different business venture this time. You know, bees and like, um... Tram Holiday didn't work out. He's gotta try something better this time. Oh. It's very dramatic. <laughs> What's that gotta do with the window? Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Patent pending, of course. 
Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our... Uh, how, how, how messed up can we make this? Anyone? He's going to make cheese ice cream. I can already see that happening. Wensleydale ice cream. Get it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Flit says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. The poor pups have been homeless for too long. Oh, God Imagine love him. if you had no place to call home sweet kennel from it. He's not making dick ice cream. Stop saying it. <laughs> it must be the breeze. Miss Flit says... The What's wrong with you guys tonight? All over town. On What's Tuesday, wrong with you? We, we haven't even started. By a gang of terriers. No doubt they'll come to heal once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Oh. How, how did they just appear? They must be some of the escapees. How are they just here? Oh no! The crank. This is a very flimsy vehicle, Wallace. The flavor engraver, the brains of our custom flavor scanner lab. It's been scrambled. The four-legged fiends. That one's just Sorry, like licking the tire. <laughs> this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind why, you, why is she just chewing on the tire? Ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad. You're a dog. You can reason with them. All that we begin hard negotiations. Up by a few rogue whippets. Okay, let's, let's grab the teddy bear. This is obviously the starting point. Take that with us. Master negotiator that is just grommet. Uh, hey. Gromit, this machine might not be completely cream crackered after all. Let's have a shifty. A sh um, a what? This <laughs> is just cream what? They talk a little different in Wallace hey, and Gromit it's Land. still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. <laughs> Yo, what's a shufty? I, that dog is dead. <laughs> oh my god! No, he's okay. He's just having a moment. He's just having a moment. One Phil, thank you for 1800 bits. ART, good to see you. If I remember correctly, I think this game has lost unused voice lines of Gromit swearing. I, do, do you mean Wallace? Because Gr Gromit doesn't have a voice actor. Gr Gr Gromit's silent. I kind of want to see that. Fucking hell, Gromit! <laughs> I would like to see that. I have to, I have to look that up. We're going to have to calm that one down if we're ever going to roll this machine out of here. Um, do you want the plush bunny? Aww. Oh, boy, certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh, my. You it's Wallace and not using so the game, unfortunately. I'm going to have to look that up later. Quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. Lead line tires, Gromit. Just to be sure we never get a puncture. Wait, lead lined? Well, Wallace, how'd you get that? That dog was eating it. <laughs> 
All these dogs are gonna die. Oh, this is this is actually quite bad. Yeah, he, he's in trouble. Um, can I put this back in. One part. He swiped it again. What's this? What's he got there, lad? I think he's helped himself to our valuable. Oh no, my golden spatula. Not quite done painting the sign yet, Gromit. That's a nice shade of blue, though, wouldn't you say? That sign would be a nice finishing touch if we could get the machine back up and running. Don't be silly, the spatula is lead as well. Oh <laughs> no! Uh, is there anything over here I can grab? I can go upstairs. Might be some supplies that can help us here. Check out the kitchen. Oven is out of commission until the weekend, having a spot of gas trouble. Hey! <laughs> Gromit! Steady on! You can bake all the pies you want later when the gas is... Like Gromit, there's a gas leak. You'll explode the entire house. Oh, we ate all the crackers. They're all gone. Potato pie, kidney pie, strawberry rhubarb pie, apple crisp pie. Hey, <laughs> We're just you killing him downstairs. Uh, Badana and Liz, thank you very much for the gift subs. The pair of you. Thank you very much. Kronos, thank you for a thousand bits. Wallace Gromit wouldn't know if it was a good shade of blue. Dogs are colorblind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't think about that. It's cruel, cruel man. Yeah, I mean, Grandma can just leave. I don't know if there's anything here that'll help. There's another dog. Oh. Like civilization is ruined in Wallaby Way. You left the fridge door open. It'll be fine. I, I can't imagine there being a consequence. Some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm. Feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground, and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't just stand there. Do <laughs> something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with like, it? Do something, dog. Solve our societal issues. Protect your own property. I... I don't know what I do. Thank Heavens, the rascal didn't tear up my tulips. I don't know how I'd have coped. I was just about to dig a little home for that one before your friend came running into my garden. That's where the dastardly digger went underground. Look at my petunias, pulverized. The garden's been through a lot between, like, for several episodes now. He's not doing what fair and well. I know the whole town has been plagued by stray dogs, but you can't start handing out bones, Gromit. If you give a dog a bone, you have to expect he'll dig a hole. And when my garden is prime hole digging real estate, you must think twice. <laughs> is that that true? <laughs> yeah, she's on her own now. Just leave her to it. She'll figure it out from here. I can flip that. I can just head on into town. Morning, private. 
Oh no. Daddies, I'm sure the trumpets, the trombones. Intelligence about the morale raising ops. The marching event. band is back. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensor used to come and rouse the troops. Reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember being stationed in Algeria. And the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! There was Fatima, the snake charmer, the ever... But we just, you, you, the challenge with this guy is you just have to pay contest. close attention to what he actually wants. I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> the Krampus telling one of his stories again. Private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me... Granite, you called us here. What do you want us to do? I remember... It's like, no, Grandad. <laughs> it's digestive Those powers. Those are my biscuits, Private. And very delicious they are, too. Can't share... I'm gonna need these biscuits for something. For optimal nutritional efficiency, today's soldiers must stick to their rations. So... No bicky wickies for you, I'm afraid. No oh, tremendous flavor. Okay, I, I gotta find a way to get his biscuits. Go to the high street and see what's over here. The news has gone to the dogs? Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? Have you heard about the fundraiser? I've never been to a proper town fair before. Hey, what, what, what else is there? Fundraise affair, help the hounds this weekend only. Old Ian Cinema's affair to remember. Come with the whippets? Papillion? He's, he's put a lot of posters in this small town. He really wants you to know that he's here. at the news agents. Oh, morning, pet. Out for walkies. Certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? Town's a buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, isn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. Sent me tumbling backwards and brought they, me They really try to make this down. as, like, Ooh, possibly British as possible, no don't mistake. they? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you mean you opened your gob. A poor brute took fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you want to Let me get some pork scratchings. Me crumpet's gone cold. The like, they're, they're really trying. Just in need of some... <laughs> Intelligent company. Anyway, it's high time town got together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Wouldn't you say, Chuck? There's so many, like, slang terms that we have, too. UK simulator. It basically is. Basically is. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do there. Looking forward to this weekend. You just need a moment to compose Should yourself. Be a riot, and all for a good cause to boot. But where are the chimney sweeping kids? I, I need a tale of two cities. Oh, they're still in prison. Following on from the last episode, they haven't they haven't let Knuckles free yet. Monty Muscles fundraise affair. I'm uh, sure, just just swipe that. Maybe I can give it to the mayor? The major? Ah, yes, as I said before, I'm unopposed. They fear me, private, just like those curs in the desert. Wait until they see me in front of a tower of pies. They'll shake in their boots with shock and awe. I don't know what his objective is here. We'll figure it out in a mo. 
Uh, Wolf, thank you for a thousand bits. I asked a bit ago, but recently finished binging your Persona 5 series. I noticed at the beginning that the chat started at a for real count, and the videos never gave a final tally. Did chat ever keep up with that? If so, what was the final count? Um, we, we had that on the stream side of things, I believe. I think that's in the Discord somewhere. I think I... Chat just stopped at it, I, I think. Uh, we, we had several for real counters. Completely ignored that. There might be a homework assignment that's left uncompleted there. I mean, you uh, uh, If someone is, is willing to take it upon themselves... <laughs> I just... Yeah, you want to watch like 140 hours of Persona VODs. If I got a fun little task for you. So long, Ivan. Oh, see you later. Can't get in there. Um, let's see what else we can get around the house. There must be something else that can help us. Oh, of course, the the, the house is completely overtaken now. With industry. I think, uh... Pooch Quarterly. 50 ways to tame your terror. Here. Sure. Includes horror stories. Pa Wallace, what kind of operation you got going here? <laughs> that... That has to be illegal. There's a lot of sugar here. How does Wallace live in his own home sometimes? Powers of industrialization. Yeah, the pie eating contest sign up form and the dog magazine. Um, I, I don't know where we want to start. It's not sugar he's cooking. Any luck with the mischief makers? Can I give you, um... No, I, I, I can't give that. Can I sign Wallace up for a pie-eating contest? Maybe? What's this? Oh, I'm not one for pie-eating contests, Gromit. Someone with an even larger appetite than mine would be interested in that. I need to give I need to give the major a pie, but I can't do the pie because Wallace With is down here. a combination here. of infrared scanning and molecular chemistry, the flavor engraver can imbue our ice cream with any flavor imaginable. Uh, that's great, Wallace, but what do I do? Custom flavor technology that makes sure there's an ice cream for everyone. You just take a sample of anything you fancy, insert it into the flavor scanner, and press the churn button. What happened to the bees? The bees are all dead now. All that's left is that one poster, ironically, telling them to be safe. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna scare him. So I can take this crank back. Now, he's gonna take that back, though, unless I maybe give him something? Can I use it with the paint? Okay, I can. Now bite him. <laughs> He's not interested now because it's blue. Okay. It's 
because it's no longer gold. Oh, okay, because that's what he, he stole all the gold valuables. Okay, I get it. Okay, that's one thing solved. Break the habit with a na tasty treat. So I need to give the other one a tasty treat. So that means I need the Major's biscuits. But to give the Major his biscuits, I think I need to make a pie. All that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. I don't know if I can make a pie yet. Oven's out of commission. Make an apple crisp pie? Hey! A crumb hit! Steady on! You can bake all the pies you want later when the gas has been mended! I don't know if I can fix the gas problem. What number, please? Oh, dog can't use the telephone. Mr. Wallace? Miss Sit from next door here. For the last 45 minutes, I've been trying to read the same page in my book. Now it's be interrupted by the incessant clutter that seems to be emanating from your cellar. I quite understand that an inventor is entitled to do his inventing in the privacy of his own home, but the banging, popping, Creaking and odd explosions really must stop. Wallace, you're going to dislodge the foundation of this entire street. But what's that livestock? It's going to cave in on oh, itself, Wallace. Wallace. This has always been a respectable street. Yeah, she's having a hard time of it. There's no bread. There's never any bread. That squirrel took the only bread. It, we've never had it again. How has Wallace not been arrested yet? He really should have been. Between the explosions and the kidnapped livestock, like it's not it's just not a good combo. Um, I really don't know what else I can interact with or even do here. Back We've kind up. of been everywhere. I hope you've a plan to get your little friend out of my garden. Hooji Woo and Tinky Wee may have their mischievous moments, but they knew better than to rummage in my roses. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a man of action around here. Don't have time for whatever that is right now. There's a crisis. We can't get anyone in to sign up for a pie. Uh, maybe someone else in town wants to sign up. He goes to the backyard of the home. I, I tried that. The trumpets immediately follow us, whoever the major is. Hello, Gromit lad. I'm Wanna Mr. sign up? Wallace. What's this? A pie eating contest? Crikey. I don't know about that. Trying to keep trim these days. Afraid I'll have to pass on the pies. Thank you, Gromit. Is anyone interested in the pie contest? It's the, it's the only lead we have right now. Hello there. What you got there, Chuck? A pie eating contest. Well, in that festive. Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie, but a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> you trouble enough appearing ladylike without a meat oh, pie. Oh, Jesus. Oh, do I? Tell that to Postman. He seemed quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. Oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea. Okay, we have and a lead. I plan on winning in a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Why Let's isn't he dead? See. I don't know. Ooh, just me I just assume as well when he's talking out of the window, it's because he's like on the he's toilet or something. That's where he's been this there entire you time. Go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. Winnie versus the Major, eh? Should be a sight to see. 
Okay, no, no one else is interested in signing up. Maybe I can go back to the Major? This is the enemy major. Ah, yes, the pie-eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Pity, I'd love He's to losing it. Another man. He doesn't even see the other signature. Who on the field of battle, mano a mano, feasting to the death until the best man wins. Edwina? She thinks she can out-eat the likes of me? Ho, ho, ho! That's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. There's just no way she can win. Impossible. She could never. <laughs> These blinking biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. Okay, we, we've got the biscuits. Me up. Private! Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them if I'm going to crush <laughs> It's International day. Women's Day, Major Crumb. Yes, it is. Battle Happy Station. International Women's Day. Let's take Crumb's biscuits. Yeah, we can use these to hopefully pacify the other dog in the garden. Well, what are you going to do about this Whippet's grievous gardening? Ah, hm? uh, biscuit. He, he's just gonna. Okay, don't chuck it in the hole. He's just gonna oh, eat it. Heavens, Gromit! No, you're just rewarding him for foul behaviour. Oh. That that probably hurt him. Feed the hole. Oh <laughs> crap, it looks so spooked. That was just a still image. <laughs> it didn't even move. Just the <laughs> what ah, you did it. Gromit, what's oh, wrong? Goodness. What? Rid my garden of the nasty little rascal. And what happened when I fed damage. him that biscuit? Now be sure it never happens again. I don't want to see any more of your canine. I the, yeah, I thought the game crashed. Property. I thought it was Do lagging or something. He's seen horrors. <laughs> hey, Kramit, you okay? We got the other bit. Head on inside. The war has changed him. Deals with Wallace daily. <laughs> it's true. And then a dog has been rounded up. Um, maybe I just dip this in the paint too. I'm quite fond of the shade on that lever, Gromit. Let's just get it back on the machine. You don't understand, Wallace. I suppose that lever does look a bit like an old bone, doesn't it? No wonder the crafty canine went and buried it. Give a dog a bone and into the ground it goes. It's their nature. Okay, oh, the no. car is fixed. Did our fastening not go Never missing? Much. It holds the lever in place. It's a critical part of the apparatus, Gromit. This is no good, lad. That was my last number 12. What rotten luck. Sir. Oh, he's helping. Hmm? Look at that. He found our nut. Fantastic, Grommy. Uh, perhaps I was a bit hard on him before. I didn't know the little one had a penchant for tinkering. If Wallace was on the internet, oh, he'd be eaten alive. Point. Heavens above, he's a positively petrified pooch. Poor little lad. We ought to call him Twitch. I feel I feel like Wallace would fall victim to like every Facebook marketplace scam. Um And there we have it, lad. It's ever posted. Twitch, that's a favoring <laughs> graver is as good as new. 
Now we ought to be back in business. Off we go, lads. Nothing can stop our Infini flavor ice cream from taking off now. Oh. Hmm? Bit late for the post, eh? Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, good heavens, no. The question is rather, how can I help you? Name's Muzzle. Monty Muzzle. Stranger danger. Catalyst, philosopher, philanthropist, and purveyor of fairground amusement. I hope by now you've heard straight up Monty Nigel Muzzle's Thornberry. Say the dogs fundraise affair to be held this Very weekend. wary of him. Oh, uh, yes, we have. Uh, Gromit and I were just... Oh, uh... glad to hear it. I was deeply saddened to hear of your recent tragedy. And I'm making it my duty, as a dedicated and devoted dog lover, to help you all raise the necessary funds to repair your canine shelter. Imagine all those precious animals out on the streets. It's a you and a mustache. <laughs> what a shame for all oh, guys, I'm folks. I'm the flushed away but guy. We've already established this. Like Aardman Animations characters. We were just putting the finishing touches on our patent pending Infini flavor ice cream machine. Ice cream, you say? Ooh, who doesn't love ice cream? The creamy coldness, the satisfying sweetness, the profit margins. And our, our machine has custom flavor technology. Hmm. Its flavor scanner extracts taste molecules from any sample provided. We're able to make limitless varieties to suit any customer. My, that does sound impressive. Oh, by heck, Mr. Walrus. I know a good money-making opportunity when I smell it. What do you say to this? With my financial firepower and your unique ice cream maker, we could put an Infini flavor retail outlet on every beachfront from Blackpool to Bognor Regis. He's gonna start a pyramid scheme. Will be your what, Wallace has already fallen victim to the Facebook Marketplace scam. Like, he, he doesn't stand a we chance here. Ice cream barons. If you bring your invention to the fair and manage to make a hefty contribution for this most needed, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, dog shelter. It's a deal. Gromit and I couldn't be more excited. Oh, our in-house creamery assures us peak freshness. Speaking of the dogs, Gromit and I... Those cows probably just take, like, a massive shit on Wallace's floor, don't things? they? Like, I, I don't no, think he's prepared this that. as an enclosure at all Aren't for these animals. The most precious things you've, you've, you've not seen. thought this through. My charity begins now, and I've got the perfect home for them. Yeah, quick-looking devils, too. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Willard. Walk is... Come on, you. Oh, Come he's you scared. Off they go, lad. Uh, say goodbye. Doesn't want to go. Look after Mr. Bunny. Be seeing you and your contraption at the fair, Mr. Wallace, and uh, be sure. Hold on to the bunny. Do not trust him one bit. Up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monty Muzzle's fundraise affair. It fair warms my heart to see so many charitable souls here today. So let me warm yours by selling you a guy is like the same kind of character as the guy who wants to build the monorail in The, the Simpsons. proceeds of which will put a smile on the face of a homeless. Do and not trust him. Puppy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, them tickets is good for every attraction. You can fry your favorite food, take on a chicken in a game of wits, or ride the mighty muzzler. Every penny goes to charity. The every mighty muzzler. Short, <laughs> does wagatay. not sound right. I say, Gromit, isn't this a thrill? And such a noble cause, rebuilding a shelter for your canine companions. Oh, no. the new chum must have dropped his It's next to the bin. I bet the little fella's having a grand day out. Probably never been to a fair before.
Oh. Hey, that must be the remains of one of the flies that was blowing around this morning. Can't abide litter, so I tore it up and offered it as slips of paper to the punters. Save the dust. Like Wallace, how did you not see the secret code here? It's not even that secret. <laughs> it's so clear. <laughs> I'll have to gram it once again. Do you fancy a code, Gromit? Make whatever you like, lad. Yeah, how, how does this work? The Infinity Flavors open for business. Is there anything you'd like to turn into a custom code? Wallace has no basic reading comprehension. Unfortunately, it might be true. Best the chicken to win the goldfish. We gotta try this. He's smarter than a chicken. Oh, it's, it's tic-tac-toe. I'm really bad at tic-tac-toe. I'm, I'm really bad. I, I can get stalemates every, like, every time. I can do that. Always start middle. Yeah, sh <laughs> Real shame, that. He's won. He beat me. Let's use even more tickets. We gotta beat the chicken. I'm taking the middle one this time. I have to go here. I think this is gonna be a stalemate again. <laughs> Nothing I could do. This damn chicken. The AI knows. Eating time for one of my golden geese. Oh, another loss, eh? Oh, I'm sure you'll win eventually. <laughs> Do I actually need something to beat the- Can I actually beat the chicken? This is a scam. This is a trick for the game. Rigged. Oh, this guy's back. Can I find the right plumbing words? Oh, he's got the bit of the flyer we need. Sir. Oh, just look at her. Right around that monkey muzzle's booth of accomplishments. She's smitten, she is. For him. Disgusting. Makes me so angry, I could blow the top. Oh, I'm Monty Muzzle. I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. Fair. Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. And what do you want, Mutt? Can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, I mean, these people have so much began. drama. They really do. A poem. <laughs> You finished too. So Honestly, we need to get the entire Wallace and Gromit universe just like posted on Facebook. I just and just see what happens. Ended. There'll be so many Dearest just like Felicity. I can't believe the love of my life did that last you. night. You're Hashtag upset. And then like he tags her. Your are sturdy. Your and uploads like him himself bold. with a frowny face. Uh, I've got nothing. Wallace would like it because Wallace me. would just like every post on Facebook. I could see that happening. Uh, uh, Gromit wouldn't have a profile picture because he, he just doesn't see the point of it. He wouldn't be using it. And Major Crumb. <laughs> Sorry, you got, got interrupted there. 
Major Crumb would um, make Facebook posts that are simply Google searches because he doesn't quite understand how the platform works. And he keeps trying to look up things in relation to the war. And that, that like, that's all his status posts. Wallace also likes those posts. From the other side. Let's have a look at this. Fortune cookie. Your nose could be mistaken for a slippery penguin. I, how does that help us? <laughs> you going here? There's another chicken. All right, yeah, create a clairvoyant codfish. Let's see what you have to see. The chickens run everything here. Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish. Oh, he's off. Let me just make a fortune cookie. Your home, your style, your nose, your hair, your goiter? Yorkshire, Scotland. Uh, what if I do, like... Scotland? <laughs> Tastes like... <laughs> Maybe not scurvy. <laughs> I don't think there's- I don't know if there's a good way to end this one that looks favorable for Scotland. Most of these are quite negative. Is it sticky as is louder then? Is that as neglected as? <laughs> I don't- how does this help me? These are all horrible. An abandoned puppy. Let's try it. Let's just see what it does. Yeah, what a load of nonsense. I mean, maybe not neglected as, but it tastes like. Subject matters horrible. I wouldn't recite this to my worst enemy, let alone <laughs> to the one I love. I don't know how this helps me. The poem. Your coiser tastes like. Doesn't sound right. Ha, a goiter. If there's one thing Nana McBiscuit always told me, it was to keep quiet about a woman's lumps and bumps. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Why, why is this even an option? Why is this dialogue? Let's see, I, I, I don't even know what the implication there is here. Um, okay, it, it can't be your goiter. <laughs> There's no way. Yorkshire is overshadowed by. No, I don't. I I don't want to make fun of Yorkshire or Scotland. Scotland tastes like black pudding. I mean, black pudding's quite nice. This is, this is a weird compliment to Scotland, maybe. Yes, more meaningless mumbo jumbo. Your hair. 
smells of black pudding. How many fortune cookies is this guy gonna get? Perhaps this useless box of tricks might be onto summer after all. Felicity does have a half decent mop, but she'd box my ears when I finished my poem with this rubbish. Okay, so not black pudding. Not a manky go patch of mold. Pirate's gold. Bah! I'm getting hindrance, no help. I need to polish this poem off in some perfect prose. No. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Let's see if this fortune's got anything useful for my poem. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Ah, that's no half bad. I think is. we got it. He's gonna, it. he's gonna wing it. I'm a blinking genius, I am. No need for these rotten lines. I've got a perfect one right here. Is it Cheech's? Uh, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Hello there, Felicity. Oh, hello, Duncan. You look ravishing today. Why, thank you, Duncan. In fact, I've... Oh, here we go. I'm in honor of your astounding beauty. Your oh, goiser you smells you like know. black pudding. Every last one. <laughs> it's like, no, what? Duncan, no. Well, <laughs> let's hear it then. <clears throat> Dearest Felicity. Your eyes are as deep as the murkiest loch. Your teeth. What's Wallace are as doing over there? He's just watching. As Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy. Your bearing is bold, and your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I don't know what to say. Brilliant, eh? Noticed my hair. I did. Oh, Duncan, who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to detail? Aye, my rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. Oh. <laughs> It's a, it's a little Ford. A caring and loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long if my nose isn't mistaken. Oh, that's just my unique musk. Let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes. Well, they seem to... It, it, it's weird, but they, it seems to work for them, so... It's okay. Save the dogs, help. Okay, we got one. We need something to distract the chicken still. Or we're not going to be able to beat him. Will it fry? <laughs> no. no, something about this doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> Even grab it's like, hang on. <laughs> oh, he's he's been up there a while. The weight limit. Safe, iffy, and danger. Something very menacing about this attraction. Please don't tell me you have to fry the chicken. Um, I'm hoping it's not that. But it could be. I can go to town again. Do you think there'll be anything back in town that we need? There you are, you goochie goos, you. Oh. Ah, the missus says I need more mates, does she? Well, I've got the birds in sky and bugs on sill to keep me company. 
You won't find me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. Yeah, birdie. He's still pooping. He's constantly on the toilet. Uh, let's take some of this. Swipe all that. Ending in the bin. Bubble gum balls? Do I need those? I, I, there's free balloons? Let's swipe one of them. I, I can just go home as well. Oh, Wallace isn't here anymore, so I might be able to make a pie. I have no idea which one I'm gonna need. Pie acquired. So we might need a particular kind of pie. The strawberry rhubarb one. Oh, the cow is taking over the hallway now. Okay. Situation is getting worse. <laughs> Just not gonna close the fridge. Can I take this? I could just blend it more. Just make all the pies. Like an apple crisp. Can I, can I just get one of all of them? It even lets me. It's a very quick pies. No, I can only make one kind of pie. Okay. It was a meat pie, pie contest, wasn't it? So, kidney pie. Okay. The fair will be over by the time he's finished making all these. Like, it, it takes like a good while to make a, like, a solid pie. Preparation and cooking, like, he's gonna be there a while. That's, like, at least two hours went by there. Make the chicken into a pie. I don't- I don't have the chicken in my inventory. <laughs> Screw the fair, just go make pies. 1,400, 1,500, 16, hmm. Let's see, count this row across, assume that the jar is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, hmm, can't be certain. Oh, I get it, so we're supposed to look in the bin, and that's the amount left over, and we work out how many it is, it's time for, for some math, have a look at this, 300 count, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in there? Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ten. Oh, it is ten. So, two hundred and ninety. One hundred nineteen, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty. He's really struggling. Don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yes. You have a go. He's just gonna steal the prize. Two hundred and ninety. That seemed like it could almost be right, Gromit. Cross your toes, lad. These are the last of the tickets. Gromit is a very good mathematician. You are the winner of a grand and fantabulous. Did our classes in school were prepared for this? Fantastic! We won, Gromit. Inside somewhere. Congratulations, sir. Very well done. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mosul. Quite a bit of brain power it did. So Well, thank you for a thousand bits earlier. Thank you very much. Kronos, thank you for a thousand bits as well. Phil, thank you for a thousand bits. Jesus Christ, guys. 
Yes, you found well, whilst yeah, swearing. Yeah, okay, Ham, we, we, we take a quick aside. To give yeah. and receive. Um, I say the satisfaction of your triumph. Plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you've made towards our noble cause, our prizes in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Paneer? Chuck. Well, they're all very well, but I thought prizes that last a lifetime. Up here and in here. He's just forever scamming everyone. Sciences. Oh, quit belly aching your big girl's blouse. Oh, um, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman such as yourself. He's the worst. Blinking bubble gum ball. What? What? Oh, all right. And one for the mutt as well. He's the worst. He totally sells NFTs. The Minton Apes, that's what he's doing all the funds from this fair. He really just said the real prize was the friends who made along the way. He's devastated. I got this poor guy. Uh, I can I can try fry the pie or fry the bubblegum. See what this does. Bill is gonna break the machine. <laughs> Fry the pie? Deep fried pie. Probably take a year off your life. <laughs> That's great, Major. Let me put a balloon in. No, he's against that. Major just wants you to know that he's having a good time. Imagine your life with less strife. I need to give the chicken the seeds. I'm, I'm still gonna lose. <laughs> I'm still losing. I'm claiming the corners. I'm, I don't think I'm winning again. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the seeds would have distracted the chicken. Oh, wait, I think I get it. I can now just specify where he goes. Okay. That's what you do. There we go. Absolutely cheating, but it'll do. Maybe we can fry the chicken now. We fry the fish. I don't know if that'll help us. Don't leave your face fish acquired. By no, no, he's against this. Blam, blam. <laughs> Make some fish ice cream. I don't think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean, 
fish flavored ice cream? Who ever heard of such a thing? It probably exists. Yes. You uh, haven't made a new feline friend, have you, perchance? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> yes, then. Uh, one fish flavor. He's going to do it. Okay. Coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. In goes the fish. <laughs> They're going to churn the fish. This is a horrible way for him to go. <laughs> he's not he's not surviving this one. <laughs> he's been blended. We still have the live goldfish though. I have a pie to enter, do you? Give it here, and I'll get to it in due time. Quite the turn out of entries I've got. Bound to find a master of ceremonies in here somewhere. I gotta give him a pie. Deep fried pie. Mm. A flaky brown golden crust is reminiscent of one of my favorite foods. But uh, let's not judge a pie by its cover. Oh, an imposter. This is just another disgusting entry dressed up in a deliciously fried crust. Oh, he hates crust. it. I've half a mind to disqualify you for such disappointing trickery and posturing pastry work. Um. Enemy down! <laughs> That's great, Major. Put in the cart before the horse, are we? I do prefer the entries to have a side of cream, but usually the entry comes first. But here, <laughs> let me have it. Mm. This is going to gross mm. him out. Most intriguing. Is this uh, fish? Mm. You were going to try to feed me fish-flavored ice cream. Why, what, what, what a unique idea. Is there any chance of you pairing this with something equally stirring? You might have a shot at uh, the title. I'll keep this here, and you can add your pie. Okay, so I need to find the right kind of pie, and it needs to be like a deep fried pie. Uh, do we know what kind of pie he's after? No use sniffing about for a competitive edge. These pies are all absolutely disgusting. Fish and potato pie? Didn't take you for the cheating sort. Willing to do anything to get ahead, are you? You'd cheat a little old lady out of a baking contest just to win your five minutes of fame as this afternoon's master of ceremonies. Then what are you doing, nosing about these entries? Keep to your own entry. But knowing what you filthy creatures are prepared to wolf down, I can't imagine you've much of a discerning palate. It's a fish and chips pie, basically, yeah. I mean, we can try it. He likes the fish. This is coming along nicely. Much more than I had anticipated from a bunch of provincial paupers. Oh, those dogs will be saved in no time. <laughs> I think he has a very different definition of saved. <clears throat> like saved from this I realm. You're making a direct charitable deposit. So why don't you go and nose about elsewhere? Ram it on to him. Okay, so I, I need to go back and uh, I now, need a different kind of pie. This filth? He's the life of muzzle. Let's go get the pie first. <laughs> That's great, Major. Need to go make the pie. Okay, potato pie. The major is having flashbacks to the war. <laughs> Probably. It'll be okay. Okay, pie is acquired.
We gotta go deep fry it. There's no trombone. It, it might catch up with us yet when we talk to the Major. It might not be safe just yet. Okay, deep fry the potato pie. Please close the fridge. <laughs> I deep fry it? I mean, I, I think he said that he likes it fried. <laughs> That's good to see you too. Ah, just vomiting. Like a complete entry, the moment of truth arrives. Why? This is. Uh... Yes, yes, resplendent. I don't like how deep his I've voice got. I've never tasted a pie quite like this. A savory crust, enhanced by a one-of-a-kind flavor, if I am not mistaken, of lightly battered cod. Oh, yes. Your entry triggers deep, unhappy memories. Oh. This pie has affected him. It really has. Bad. Behind the counter in my mother's chippy. I'm the happiest lad there's ever been. Eating complimentary portions of freshly fried North Sea cod and chips. Just having Stupid. a ra full ratatouille moment. How you did it, dog, I'll never know. But you've won. Congratulations. You're the first beast to become the master of ceremonies of the pie-eating contest. I'll be meeting you on stage then. Time to get this pie-eating contest underway. I feel like this guy would get questionable fan art if this game was made today. You know, when do you think Monty Muzzle's gonna be on the Tumblr sexy man ratings? Genuine question. How much does this mustache really tickle you? Can I get the reward? I just go up there? Be seeing you on stage in two shakes of a dog's tail. I can just nick this now. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Our first order of business is to celebrate this fine figure of a dog as winner of the pie baking contest. That's a boy, Chuck. I knew you could do it. People just accept, like, Gromit's place in the society and as, so like, yeah, he's a like, really sentient dog. We'll really intelligent. Master of ceremonies of the pie eating contest to commence Basically shortly. a person. I'm here. The Major doesn't stand a chance. Ha! I once ate a kidney pie the size of a Shetland pony. And I had room for dessert and coffee. We never checked on the Major. He's just been pistol, flying. Doggo. Gun acquired. And now You'll I have to use this later. Words. Where are my blinking notes? Mm, you were up here just a minute ago. Um, yeah, well, um, it's not every day that tragedy strikes. It's Chekhov's gun. Town, like Someone will be shot. I'm most honored to be here in your moments of need to help you all oh, collect no. enough funds to rebuild the orphanage. Um, uh, that is, uh, the orphanage for lost dogs. And I'm delighted to say that I haven't seen such an outpouring of charitable giving among fair goers since, well, since, um, uh, since, uh, uh, the great Lancashire earthquake of, uh, oh, let what? me see now, uh, some, uh, yes, some years ago. I don't remember hearing about that. Ah, oh, dreadful it was. Teapots tossed from their cozies. Sheep shaken right out of their There was an earthquake in the UK like a few years indeed. back, wasn't there? So, keep up the that good work here today, and be sure to spend, spend, It was like a weird freak incident or something, yeah. Very mild earthquake. such a very, very good cause. 
now. Was Lord Wales the other week? Really? Uh, Colonel Crumbs and uh, Mrs. Gubble. Let's do the fracking. We'll go head to head in the pie eating contest. Now, Mutt, pull the trigger. Boris Johnson resigned. That was the earthquake. <laughs> oh, no. Save the dogs. Hope inside. Oh, they're inside the muzzler. Okay. Probably what's making it spin. We're just gonna all be on like bicycles. Kravitz just immediately captured. Bye. It's been a busy week. Just one good deed after another. There's nothing he could do. First, I uh, takes in three homeless hounds. Then I helps a town. Do gooders. Cough up the cash for a noble cause. <laughs> yeah. And now I've trapped me a tricksy little trespasser. Now listen here, mutt. I built this fair up from the sweat of me brow and a pile of scrap. And if you think I'm going to let a molly-coddled mongrel chuck a spanner in the works, you don't know Monty Muzzle. He's very menacing Aye. when he goes in for like his ASMR Your voice. Time on wheel comes soon enough. And being man's best friend, you wouldn't want to stop the ride and disappoint your punters now, would you? But until it's your turn, you can blink him well stay put. It's a gold oh, key. And don't start whining you gotta and steal it with the, with the the other dog. You have my security system to deal with if you don't keep the noise down. As Wallace not notice his dog being kidnapped like ten feet from from. Him. I'm just not gonna play as Wallace today. I think I think it's just it's just a grommet episode like. Hey, bud, how you doing? Not much going on in his head. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna do it. What is it? What's going on in here? Does he have nothing better to do? Something in here, are we? Down, mutt. It's not your dinner time yet. Hmm. Seems to have been a false alarm. But I'll be back in here at the drop of a hat if there's any monkey business. For dogs, sir. Just keep doing it. I, I don't have anything gold. <laughs> Use the gun! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stage an escape. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? He's dead, oh, sir. Another blinking dead dog. The workshire well hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Ah, oh, He's okay. Me, oh, oh. That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. Another one, yeah. No more out of you. It's a grim world in the Wasps and Gromit universe. Nicely done. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. What if I give you the bunny? You want the gun? I mean that that'll work. <laughs> just just use the gun again. <laughs> I gotta I gotta stop security next.
Because I, I assume they're just going to see me if I try leave. Maybe I just do to use the key. Don't seem to be batting an eye. Oh, Preston's dog food. That's a reference. Some sheep may have suffered here. Alright, uh... I give you the dog? How do I stop him? The ladder here. Chicken can't see me from here. Use the gut on the chicken. I don't think it's gonna work. But there is a way to drop something on the chicken. Balloon? Oh, no, we gotta, we gotta set it up again. Hmm. He's just gonna poke his head in now. He hasn't got as much to say anymore. Teleported. Oh, yeah, I have the bird seed. That's what I should do. Okay, hang on. Let's, uh, let's drop this here. Guard's been taken out. It's another ladder here. I have no idea how this helps me. <laughs> Good work, Agent 47. Um... Can I use a gumball on this? Confirmed guard kill. Can I use the gun? I'm just gonna try use the gun on everything. Yeah, there might be a way up there in a mo. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we gotta give him. Flush? No, he doesn't want that at the moment. I take this. Fortune cookie bag. We can do something with that. We can dig a tunnel out of here. Oh, to dig the tunnel out of here, I have to put the fortune cookie here, and the other dog's gonna go for it. No, he's, he's not interested. I, I have the wrench. I can go back up the top. Maybe shoot the dog. I don't think shoot the dog is going to be the solution in most of the, the situation. Okay, what if you shoot the dog in a different way? What if you use the gumball and then shoot the dog? <laughs> what if you shoot the bunny? This would be like a lot of your guys' solutions here. <laughs> what if you trick shot the dog? <laughs> I use the bunny? Can I use it? What if I use the gun? I gotta break you out of here. Uh, does the. 
key work? The wrong key. It's grease? Uh, use grease on this dog? We gotta save Twitch. We must help him. Grease the keyhole. <laughs> Maybe? I, I can go back up and grease the vent. I just don't really know I, how that helps us yet, and I'm gonna climb all the way back up. What if I shoot the other dog? <laughs> Gotta be the solution at least one of these times. Hey, what if we, what if we, what if we grease the dog? <laughs> oh, that actually is it. He's gonna slip out. The dog has been greased. Use the bunny with the lock? Oh, you couldn't reach him. Grease this dog. Can't, I can't use it with another item, can I? Please don't know from Twitch. There, yeah, we could try grease this dog. No, this 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 dog's not interested. Can we take out the security guard? He's already gone. Put the bunny on the floor. No. Can the can didn't let me do anything. I think this is just a cheeky reference. And give him the fortune cookie. He's not interested. Um. What if you use the wrench on the dog? <laughs> Fortune cookie for him? Try it. There we go. Doesn't seem to have helped too much though. I can grab another fortune cookie. Now grease him. There we go. Dog has been successfully greased. I think. It's no, I I I don't think so. You can put another fortune cookie down here. <laughs> this is not doing much. The dog doesn't want to be greased. I drop grease from above. No, uh, I, I can't drop that down there.
Look at the orange box. There's nothing on the orange box to do. Drop the bunny from above. I don't think I can. Use gum on the chicken. <laughs> I can put bubble gum in the vent, maybe. This, this, this is like classic point and click adventure where it's like, use every item on every object. Something's gotta work. Grease the grease. Cookie in the vent? I have no fucking idea. Try the wrench on the moving dog. Oh, because he liked the bones. Okay. Oi! We're slowing down already. Muscle, your blinking ride's not fit for service. Blinking engine must have, uh, um, <laughs> died again. Uh oh. Ah. There we go. Woo! Okay, the other dog's taking up the, the reins. That's okay. There's now a tunnel for Twitch to escape. Auntie Muscle's lost a lot of dogs, it seems. The final boss of this adventure is going to be Monty Muzzle teams up with the Knuckles the Echidnas. And fights them. Okay, I need- oh, I need to grease them here. That's what it is. Okay. Go get help. You can do it, Twitch. Pipe leads into an extractor fan. Oh, hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. No, well, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. Wallace is actually gonna do something. My God. Board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. E easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Thinking more. You mean poor Gromit inside <laughs> the world? Help me, Wallace. <laughs> happened, lad. You oh, let no. this happen. Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Hey, wa Wallace is actually going to be able to do something. I have no inventory right now. Oh. oh yes, everything seems to be in order here. Nothing to report. He's having a good time. That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. So he's carrying out an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? No, oh, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, My no, talk no, is no, caught no, in the no, gears, um, Mr. Monty. Um, the, uh, um, uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. Had to institute you shouldn't have got inside the contraption. Limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. One last bite. And another pie is gobbled by Gabbily. See, you had to give the ride a bit of a patch job, eh, Mr. Muzzle? The muzzler seems a bit bumpy. 
she was damaged during a speedy disassembly a few weeks back. I had to pack her up in a hurry. <laughs> yes, I had to rush off to attend a tragedy in a cattery in the next town. Terrible business. But Monty Muzzle's philanthropy won through in the end. Okay, we, we, we need to do something else. The weight limit is still uh, here. I was wondering if I could uh, have a go on the ride. Uh, Righto. Uh, but first, you'll have to hop on the scale. Oh, uh, of course. Wallace is uh, safe. have to wait until the constable's finished, though. Uh, all right. Pie eaters might stop the ride. I mean, maybe. We can, tr we can try. Hello, Duncan. Miss Blit. What do you use, Wank Wallace? Well, uh, I'm not I even going to let them on the ride. Uh, it's just going to be like, get them weighed there. Like, stop, stop the mechanism. I think Mr. Muzzle has He's had too much pie. Dog napped. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You mean to tell me the old Monty Muzzle, the charitable dog lover and second most sensitive, caring man at the fair, has swept your mutt? Ha! Now that's right. Oh, uh, yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but. Uh... Really, Wallace? It's not very charitable of you to be spreading rumors like that. Uh, and Gromit uh, shoot Duncan. Uh, well, I mean, we, mind, well, we need then. to get the gun to Wallace. This is the current objective. Wallace needs to take the shot. Because Grammar is trapped inside. The would-be chomping champion continues to shovel I haven't looked at those yet. My happy child, my first heroics, and my life's calling. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no. It's a last man... <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gavalee. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Uh, I'm just getting warmed up! He's, his we'll stomach's gonna collapse on him. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Righto. Yeah, paper acquired. You've fallen a bit behind, eh, Major? Nonsense! Enemy propaganda! Don't believe a word of it! Soon as I've claimed victory, I'll be back on my favorite airbag. Crumb's gonna body. die. Oh, <laughs> right. The ride. Like, Wallace, you need to go and get help. Quickly, I'll make a flavor of ice cream. It's a rip roaring success, but I can't sell any more cones until I free from it. Okay, um. Oh, I gotta deliver the note up here, don't I? It's meat pies by door, and by heck, look at that crust fly! Here you go, Mr. Paneer. Excuse me, Paneer. Mrs. Gabbley wanted me to give you this. This can't be good oh, for their blood sugar. I don't think it is. To read out for the fair. Are food eating contest still a thing? Testing, one, two, one, it just seems like you're asking for, like, foul trouble. To oh, it was like an episode of Billy Simpsons Gabbley's where it's like Homer has to eat like a 20 pound steak or something. Later this evening at the Gabbley residence. Uh, that's everyone including. They are, Major unfortunately. Brock, so long as he's. Humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. A scandalous suggestion. You'll regret the day you taunted a crumb. I'm worried I'm worried for Major Crumb in particular. I don't think he's long for the world. It's Crumb and Gabbly now. There's got there's got gonna, gonna be at least one death in the Wallace and Gromit universe before this Telltale Games adventure is out. And I think it's gonna be Major Crumb. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it. This muzzle doesn't seem like such the dog lover now. Hello, Mr. Paneer. I was wondering if from your elevated vantage point, well, you haven't seen Mr. Muzzle up to anything suspicious, have you? Suspicious? Oh, you mean like planning a secret surprise for the fair goers? No, I can't say it's I have. It's all so innocent. You never know what he's got up his sleeve. Uh, not 
exactly. I mean, anything unsavory, up to no good. Mr. Muzzle? <laughs> no, no, no. He may offer less than substantial prizes for his attractions, but that's just in the name of charity. Don't be ridiculous, Swallows. Oh, all right then. Uh, thanks anyway. Mr. Muzzle is the imposter. It's, it's very upsetting to see him chat. It's very upsetting. I don't know if there's anything else I can do to influence you must this. Be getting tired. Poppycock! I've a soldier's belly. Just have to focus, men. Look at these stacks of empty tins. I can't be far behind. Wolf, thank you for another thousand bits. I've watched Wallace it's and Gromit when I was younger. And the and fact that Wallace even realized that Muzzle had dognapped Gromit is incredibly perceptive of him. It, it really is. Enjoying a bit of a lead Normally Gromit's almost cabinet. dead by the time Wallace catches I on to like there's something's amiss. I'm enjoying myself so much, I've lost count. I can't believe you're in the lead. Look at the munching major. Happen, but don't forget the tortoise and the hare, Mr. Wallace. Okay, I, I can't help them. I can look at these. My happy childhood. Oh, this is supposed to help you with the food. Montgomery and Muzzle spent his earliest, most joyous years in his mother's renowned chip shop. That was supposed to help us with the contest. Mmm, fish and chips. My lifelong favorite. Ever the Karen solely took great joy in sharing his dinner with those less fortunate. All propaganda. So began the life of a boy who knew he had much more to give than fish and chips. Blatant propaganda. It's early heroics. It began as a typical day for Monty Muzzle, but fate would soon intervene. It's Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Oh my darling, somebody please help! Tally ho, Muzzle will save you, pretties! Or perish trying. Auntie Muzzle is fodder Comstock. My god. Bravery triumphs and the puppies are saved. And my life's calling. Oh, it took a moment. <laughs> Tragedy. Market crashed, a man devastated. A will, a way, a plan. Turn his misfortune into a fortune for others. It's so much propaganda. Did he kill her? He probably did. It's very possible. This was born the ma magnanimous Monty Muzzle fundraise affair. Did he kill some of her inheritance money? He really might have. <laughs> he killed his own family. Got, took the life insurance and ran. And the action is now yeah, we'll see if there's anything back here that can help us. There are balloons. A, a balloon, always a good for a lift. It might help us. Anything in the trash? Heavens above, Norbury Blue. No, Wallace. That's <laughs> mm. <laughs> how you get sick. Jeez. You can't eat the garbage cheese, Wallace. That's not even our inventory, he's already consumed it. Uh, he, he's got severe food poisoning. Wallace is just like, the mold really adds a kick. Good heavens. <laughs> they just sniffed each other's ass, okay. 
Leave him do it. I better get back to the fair and try and save Gromit. Okay, the only thing I could grab is the balloon. There's nothing else of note here. Um. And the action is now really heating up. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. Constable Dibbins. Woohoo! Unofficial police business, Wallace. We've lost him. Uh, I so no, I don't actually know what to do. I think I've talked to everyone. Can I use the balloon on the scale. I think I'd like a turn. Go ahead. Yes. Scales first, though. Oh, look at that! I've dropped a few pounds. That doesn't. That doesn't really help, though. Uh, observe the pants. Like Mrs. Gabbley are about even in the count. Perhaps, but don't let your eyes deceive you. I've a commanding advantage. I need to get one How's of the pie that, eaters. Major Crumb? My fighting spirit. And Mrs. Gabbley finishes yet another pie. He's <laughs> got. <laughs> He's gonna need the bathroom, and, like, urgently soon. He's not long for the world. <laughs> He's gonna projectile vomit. Uh, I know you're busy, Major, but I have a spare balloon. Love balloons! Oh, but not now, Wallace. Got her up against the ropes. There's plates That's here. quite a few pies you've eaten, Mrs. Gabbley. Could have sworn there was more. Haven't really been keeping count. Just getting stuck in and enjoying myself. The would be oh, all these ones are had too. Continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the major seems to have met his match in Vinny, the wonder nosher. Oh yeah, look at these. Okay, we we can steal those. I don't know how they help us. If I put these here, maybe it encourages the major? Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? What, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned... Oh, oh. not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I... I think I might have been out-pied by the enemy. <laughs> Stop the It seems the, the major might be giving up. Though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yippee! He's and been defeated. He's going into cardiac arrest. Attaboy, Mrs. Probably. Gabbley. Congratulations! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Veneers Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show this someone call an ambulance. this mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzle gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF. He's ride. gonna be so sick. Excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stones. Oh my god. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Gaverly's having a nice time. She's still going. Who heavy? Balderdash! I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limit, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. 
You must have piled on pounds since then. I've gained 20 kilos in the span of an afternoon. You know. Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. Hang on, let's, uh... Let's give him the balloon. A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass. I hope his death scene is satisfactory. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now. You might be right. I'm He's gonna get on the I ride and start spinning around, and it's like, it's I just gonna pass. give way. <laughs> You'll be next. Smashing! It's about <laughs> the major's going to Time's die. Up, constable. Still carrying out the inspection, Major. Wait your turn. And remember. Whether you want pakora, mice, okay, I, I need I need to get the policeman down now. Peculiar produce. Just two minutes this is an assassination this attempt. <laughs> Major, like, <laughs> Wallace is actually killing someone. <laughs> Granite, hand me the gun. How's the weight, Major? It's only a matter of time before I'm fit to fly with the RAF once more. Well, as you can't just ask that. Paneer's peculiar produce for all your favorite foodstuffs and some you probably never knew existed. Okay, uh, is that the subtle cue to go back and check the food store? No, no, it's not. Okay. Gra Gromit is still trapped inside. Take another balloon. A balloon's good for raising spirits. It's the only item we have. Um, how how do I actually get this guy down? Could deep fry a balloon? Not a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. From sweet to savory, pickled get a fortune preserved, cookie. And fresh to frozen, Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Plus, we also sell umbrellas, beach balls, indoor barbecue equipment, and a full range of domestic. Mr. Paneer, please. <laughs> Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned Gromit. Shamelessly self-promoting. With the tiniest little lift, I'd be cleared for takeoff. Okay, uh... You want this? That won't do anything useful. Balloon? Maybe you two would like to share a balloon? Oh, I don't go near balloons. They make my hair stand on end. Oh. All right. The lady says she does not want it. Uh, oh. All right, oh. Uh, message understood. Get out of here, Wallace. Very territorial. Uh, your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. You just make fun Sorry, of him. Police. Can't hear ya. He's just going. I remember. Whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available. Mr. Paneer, please. Just two minutes stop, stop. From from, like, Mr. Paneer, like, it's the same five people that are at every event. We already know about your grocery store. There's no one else here. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Sorry, Wallace, I tried. I'm afraid not. Hello, Wallace. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride. That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Okay, all right, that's duty it. Duty calls.
Wahoo. Town has a population of five and a cow. It does. Machinery! Major Crumb's carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst its seams. Major Crumb, no! Oh, <laughs> oh he's dead. That would kill you. That would actually kill you. Oh my god, he's gone. That was his death scene. I love it. Are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. Up, up and away. Hi. What are you doing? What is that? It's Monty Muscle. The major's like, my heart. My heart. I'm Twitch. Arrivederci. Monty Muscle. He's getting away with us. This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit. We don't do floats. What'll it be, lad? One scoop or two? Oh, okay, it's just got a jetpack now, Mitch. sure. Not exactly sure. what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid, and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. Coming to the rescue. There's a lot of cream. A, like, oh, very high pressure. He's got a head start, lad. We've got to find a way to close the gap. Fire the gun. <laughs> it's never the gun. Churn? Without a new flavor scan, the Infini flavor defaults to vanilla. Yeah, that, that's not going to help us right now. Try a gumball. Let's toss everything in. Uh, <laughs> it's the battle lad, bus. But that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. Okay, so not that. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Um, <laughs> gun ice cream. Make it gun flavor. <laughs> oh no. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Fire. <laughs> No, there's nothing to fire. Put bird seed in. There must be a lot of cream to maintain this height. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Uh, serve. Turn. Seed ice cream? Without a new flavor scan, the Infini flavor defaults to vanilla. It's, it doesn't want to fire. Oh, the lever, right. I didn't think I could click that. Looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Okay, that... It, is it actually gun flavor? It might be gun flavor. No, no, it, it, no, it's gotta be gum. It's gotta be gum. Sorry, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, please let gun flavor work at some point. But that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. Well, it won't affect the texture. She's still operational even when she's airborne. That's that's great to know, Wallace. Did 
No, it's just coming off. Is there anything else I can do? Careful, Gromit. Those lead lined tires are costly. Why are they lined with lead, Wallace? The hatch on the churning tank has sprung open. <laughs> Just put the gun in. No time for that, Gromit. <laughs> I can put seeds in. That would only provide a bit of crunchiness. Okay, put the gum in here. And then I gotta put that handle back on. And now I churn it. Okay, it's now actually sticky. Arm had its work cut out with that batch. <laughs> Things are getting a bit sticky back there. Put the lead tire in so we can shoot the propeller. Like, we got lead ice cream. That there we go. Kid, <laughs> hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Okay, we're closer. Now we use the gun. <laughs> okay, uh, seed flavored ice cream. I think is next. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Okay, that 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 doesn't work. Do I, ju I just shoot him? No, he doesn't want to do that. I can't pull the lever. Uh, I, I can add seeds from the roof. That batch doesn't have a whole plan. But how do I get rid of the batch? That batch has gone chewy. Time to save Twitch. I'm, I'm not good at making ice cream, Wallace. <laughs> okay, what's this gonna do? So someone's dead. Some pounds, someone's dead. <laughs> you just dropped lead tires. Wallaby Way is gonna be in tatters. We going to land without any undercarriage. Huh. Didn't think this through. Knock up my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with the wind at my back. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little switching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. Ah. Okay, we're, we're pretty near now. Where do you think you're going with that? Eh, fine then. Let go. <laughs> Take Stay the shot, Grumman. Friend. Yeah, I can chuck the seeds. Talk about feeling peckish, they're famished. Oh, that helps us. <laughs> Take the shot. Let's throw the seeds at the guy. Easy, easy, oh, okay, easy. I see it. You've already been fed today. Ow! Get away! Stay away! Now, listen, chickens. Ah! Oh! 
We've almost had our first dash. Let's go, Twitch. <laughs> He's not long for the world. So near yet so far. Please, please, someone call up the chickens. Come on, Twitch. Fortune cookie? Help! Help! A closer serve. Oh, okay, we can just grab him. Lucky grab, Grummet. Let's get out of here. Oh. Ah. We're one scoop too many, lad. You have to let go, Monty. Oh, we don't all have to die in the sky. Oh, no. Chickens. Help, Gromit. Muzzle's mustache has gone flat. Oh, okay. No, it's... We don't have long for the world now. This balloon's got no lift. <laughs> Grab the money, quick. Deal from me. Monty Muzzle. That's not how it works, sunshine. Steady, Gromit. Looks dangerous. You could get your paws nipped or worse. <laughs> I just go with the blades. Lose that arm, Gromit. But nothing a little blue can't fix. How high up are they? I don't know. Quickly, grab the money. <laughs> Give that back right now. That that chicken might just be I'm dead. Save what I can. Just toss the money in. If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. This skin must be burning <laughs> by <laughs> now. No! My money! Oh, my beautiful No, the chicken! Money. Help! We're still falling, lad! Wallace is terrified. Just look at him. He is in so much distress. Let's not be greedy. <laughs> the ground's approaching from it. Do something. Uh, use the air tag. We could do with some more air. It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. Happened to many a bomber in the world. There's a lead tire just crash into someone's home right now as well. Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fairground felon still got her cash. He's due a soak in the mouth. And a kick on the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, by his use his beard. What on earth? They're coming in hot. It's a <laughs> Everyone get down. Mustache. Ah, oh, I've seen bigger. You're alive. Uh, yes. A balloon was filled with hydrogen. Not a fine. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh, oh. oh he's dead. <laughs> he's straight up dead. No, he landed on the bed. He's alright. He should be dead. He should be dead. Oh, he's gonna die now at the hands of the dogs. These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gabley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, your misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. Anyway, Gromit, He's still in the feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Your friends will always be here. Ooh, 
that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. What kind of mischief will Twitch what? get up to next? Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage. Yo, your Monty Muzzle. He was a Facebook live streamer. Aerial Can't be having that here. Robotics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous Monty Muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that. I uh... feel a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but I was wondering. With a bit of elbow I grease, I'm sure Gromit. Wallace is in his own world. Running again by Christmas. Wallace, I. I have a. Proposal for no, you. I wonder where this goes. Oh, Wallace! Yes? A proposal and a ring! How. how. Oh, shocking! I beg your pardon, Miss Flit. Oh, and so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flit, marry you? Wallace. Doesn't have a surname, does he? It's just Wallace. Pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honored that you would quickly grab it. Pass me the gun. Us. There's still time. I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. <laughs> it just ends on that face. Oh, he's so spooky. That could just be the thumbnail right there. I don't think anything else is necessary. <laughs> it just ends. Ah, oh, God. Wedded episode next. Could you imagine? Next one is going to be Wallace getting a divorce. Ram it me, old chum. Fetch me the separation papers. Attaboy. Can't wait. The wrong marriage. <laughs> the unlikely follow-up to the wrong trousers. Ah, oh, God. I mean, that was actually very cute. That's that's probably the best episode of the lot. I feel like there was less time spent in that one just, like, aimlessly using items. Like, there was a bit inside the balloon where it got a bit like that, trying to just work out the puzzle. In general, though, I think that was, like, the better episode. I really like the pacing of that one a lot more. Okay, someone made an animation of the bloopers for this game. Okay, we're gonna check that out in a sec. I need to see what the bloopers are. We're just gonna see if there's like a post credit scene. You know, like the tease for like the next, um, you know, movie. In the Wallace and Gromit cinematic universe. Okay, yeah, thank you for the thousand bits and the kind words. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a big relief with the YouTube change, honestly. Like, the, there's still more. Um, I think I could say about that, but I'm gonna save it for like a video. I'm gonna talk about it a bit more in depth there. Cause there's like, so there's a... Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I... I'll go into it later. But there's like some other bits that like, I could, I think I can show. I think, I think they could basically do a bit more. It's a step in the right direction. I missed something about YouTube. Uh, I tweeted about it. And, and they made like a community post about it, I think. Um, they basically rolled back some of the issues I was having, in particular the swearing policy. They, they've, they've changed it quite significantly. And it's specifically because of a lot of the support that came from my content. Um, it's a mix of like the support and like directly talking to YouTube devs 
who were responsible for this change, ultimately. No, I was able to actually speak to people. Um, uh, it's a huge relief. But a lot of, like, just feedback gathering and just communication there. I, uh, I, it's, it's a start. It's a start. <laughs> you know? Can we keep the YouTube sensor? Is that still going? Absolutely we're keeping the YouTube sensor. Are you kidding me? We've actually had the idea, um, uh, like, um, suggested that, um, for multiplayer videos, we try and get a few takes of YouTube as a swear. It's like we're playing with, like, Kiwo or Kelly. We get them to say YouTube a few times so that we can add their swears to the filter. Or to the sensor. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, how you doing, Watts? Oh, there's, there's no teaser for the next one this time. It just ends. It was an after credit scene with the last one. They just just decided no this time. Okay. That's it. Okay, but there is something else I want to show. Um Hang on. So there's blooper voice lines for this game of the voice actor for Wallace swearing. And I kind of want to see that. Grand Adventures Outtakes? This is a blooper reel, and it's a minute 22 long. The bloopers are actual bloopers which can be found in the sound files in Muzzled. Okay. All right, so we, we we gotta we gotta just listen to this. So hang on, so this is this is a little extra. This is gonna be like just plain audio here. Hoping this works. Can you guys hear it? See and finny flavor flinny flan. <laughs> no doubt they'll come to heal once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair this weekend. What the f weekend? What am I talking about? <laughs> I used the churning crank to tighten a loose bolt this m <clears throat> Sorry. You really ate all of these pies? You fat b <laughs> <laughs> Can Mrs. Gabberly be beaten? Or is she a pitiless bottom? I mean a body, but bottom... A pitiless bottom. <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful. You really ate all of these pies? You fat b <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's the best one by far. Thank you for sharing that. That's so cursed. That's so cursed. Oh god, thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that, everyone. Okay, uh, we will wrap up the stream there on that note. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods as ever being on hand. I hope... You all enjoyed the stream. Uh, so, stream schedule. Uh, for this week, it's a bit weird. I am not going to be live tomorrow. I'm not going to be live Saturday. Uh, I will be back proper on Sunday. And what I think we'll do Sunday is we'll probably do a combination of, like, we'll do the Minecraft stream and we'll do the next episode of Wallace and Gromit. Because uh, there's only one left now. So, I think it'd be fun to play that through. I, I, I've, I've, like, thought about it, like, uh, quite a bit. Because I know on, like, the end of the last episode, I said, like, I wasn't really sure if I was enjoying it. But I think I am. I think, I mean, it's just Wallace and Gromit. It's hard not to like it. It's very cute. I think maybe, like, um, I, I, I'm just not used to, like, the calmer, slower pace of, like, a Telltale game. Like, it's been a while since I played one. It is actually quite enjoyable. And, like, that one just there was probably the best one of the three. I really enjoyed just the pacing in that one in general. Felt like I wasn't stuck for long. Episode 2 was a bit weaker. Yeah, like, episode 2 just had a lot of back and forth in the house. Trying to solve it. 
It's better than story mode by far. I mean, it, there's no contest because like, it's not trying to be like dark and edgy. Like, like it, you know, if if the adventures here open with like Wallace staring at the camera, it's like, it's a grim world out there, me lad. <laughs> like, you know, I'd be a bit concerned. That's basically what Minecraft story mode did. It's just way too serious. It's the main problem. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, I will be back on Sunday. And we will get some games in then. We will play more Wallace and Grandma, and we'll do a Minecraft stream. Uh, I'm going to leave you in Josie's care. She's streaming some Oblivion. Go wish her well. I know she's been having a hell of a time with the game, and it's wildly entertaining to watch. I love Oblivion. Go say hey. Uh, but for now, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see you all Sunday. Have a good week.